of phase three. Um, today we're going to be working on some strength based movements and also some HIT, so a little bit of cardio mixed in there. Um, so I'm going to show you all your exercises and then you can repeat on your own if you want to watch the exercises and then pause the video so I'm with you throughout the circuit, you can do that um, or you can just do it on your own time. All you're going to need for this circuit is two dumbbells. I have eight pounds here. You could go five, eight, ten, maybe twelve. If you need to alternate between lighter and heavier for some of the different movements, you can do that. And then um, a mini band. We're just going to have it around our ankles for a couple exercises. Circuit number one, we're going to start off with some push-ups. You can do these from your toes or you can modify on your knees. Or if you have a table or a chair or your couch, um, you can do it on an incline there. So hands nice and spread, spread your fingertips, lock those shoulder blades down, draw that core in, you're going to lower down and press up. Make sure you're keeping those elbows at a 45 degree angle so they're not up at your shoulders like this and they're not in by your sides like a tricep push up, but they're just slightly wider than shoulders and elbows going at a nice angle back. All right, second exercise in this little circuit is cross jacks. So you're crossing here, crossing, cross. So arms and legs both cross. Modification, you're stepping and tapping. So you're still moving, getting that heart rate up. Okay, so then after you do both those exercises, you're gonna rest for 30 seconds, and then you're gonna repeat two more times. And then we'll move on to circuit number two. Okay, circuit number two, you're gonna grab those dumbbells. We're gonna do a squat and press. So weights up by your shoulders, you're gonna sit back and then press up overhead. So you're gonna inhale and start that exhale right before you get to the bottom. So inhale, exhale. And continue that exhale as you press up overhead. As you press those weights up overhead, we don't want you to go into that banana back. I want you to keep those ribs tucked so your core is nice and activated. So squat. Okay, squeeze those glutes, nice strong through the core. Exercise number two, we are going to do a loaded beast burpee. So I'll walk you through it. Plant those hands, spread your fingertips. You're gonna jump your feet back, sit your tailbone back over your heels. Your knees are still hovering off the floor. You're gonna press your armpits down towards the mat, and then you're gonna jump in and up. So press back. Step, step, press, step, step, up on your toes. Step, step, press, step, step, up on your toes. A little bit in between, so not fully modified, not fully advanced. You're going to jump back and in, and then just take out the hop right there. So you're just coming up on your toes. So plant hands, fingertips spread back. Really lengthen out through your spine, press into those fingertips. Raise that tailbone back, jump in and up. Now once you get your heart rate up, you're going from down and up, and that always gets that heart rate going quick. So again, 30 seconds, both those exercises. Rest 30 seconds. Both exercises, rest, both exercises, rest. And then we'll move on to the third circuit. All right, grab your band. You're gonna put it around your ankles here. And you're gonna grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do a lateral walk with a bicep curl. So step, step, curl. Step, step, curl. So you're always keep keeping tension on that band. So you walk wide, wide, and then a little bit narrower here. Never come in here where that band is loose. You're always keeping tension. So your glutes are working the entire time. So step, step, Curl and full range of motion with that bicep curl. Slight bend in your knees. Keep your shoulders rolled back. Relax and gaze down. So keeping tension on that band. 30 seconds just like this. All right, get rid of the weights, get rid of the band. We're doing a cross jab. So you're going cross, 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 cross. So as you lift that knee, you're punching across, your core is twisting, you exhale. So J, 
jab, jab, and with each punch, I want you to do a little exhale. If I was working out with you, I should be able to hear that breath. And give, give a little power behind that punch. Jab, jab. All right, this is where you can, can uh, find your inner boxer. So punch, 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 punch. Use your abs to lift up that knee. This one should get your heart rate up as well. Upper body, lower body's working. And you're moving the whole time. 30 seconds. So we'll do th both those two and then rest 30 seconds. Repeat two more times. Then our final circuit in this workout is our fourth circuit. We're going to do a curtsy lunge with a lateral raise. So grab your dumbbells. I'll show you two options here because we can use that... Um, that band as well to make it a little bit more advanced. You're gonna curtsy lunge, shoulder raise, come together. Curtsy, shoulder raise, come together. Sorry, my head's getting cut off. I'll show you from the side. You're curtsying behind. Your back stays nice and upright. Okay? You're just alternating legs. Curtsy. And why we're doing the raise while you're in that lunge is you're holding that lunge. Legs are Getting a little bit more time under tension, a little bit more of a burn. And then try to keep your shoulders down so you're not hiking up with your traps. You're keeping your shoulders down, you're using those deltoids, top of your shoulders, to lift that weight. And with that curtsy lunge, you're getting into those outer glutes here. Beautiful. Okay, another option if you want to take this up a notch, put this band just above your knees here. Make sure it's flat, keep tension on it, and you can use that band for a little bit extra challenge for your glutes. So use it in that lunge. Cross it, just add a little bit of extra resistance. Challenge those outer glutes a little bit more. Okay, so there's your option there, put that band. All right, last exercise in this workout today, we're doing skaters. So side to side, you're jumping and tapping, staying low. Spine stays long, neck long, so you're not crouching over like this and reaching. You're keeping a long neck, you're in that hinge position and lowering with the legs. So a little hop up and over, like you're speed skating, get low in those legs, the legs are doing the work here. Modification, step tap, step tap, step tap, step tap. All right, so staying low in the legs, Core engaged, keep breathing, um, spine long, neck long, low in the legs as you reach for that opposite foot. Okay, so 30 seconds, 30 seconds, rest 30 seconds, repeat two more times, and then you are done. So that's four circuits, four mini circuits, 30 seconds each, each exercise is with 30 second rest after each set. You're supposed to be getting your heart rate up. We're using some high intensity interval training. So getting our heart rate up and letting it come down. We're spiking it so you get a little bit more bang for your buck as you're burning calories throughout the day. All right, have a good one.